Ahmed Akka, my name is Gloria Ngarnivalu. Um, I'm going to be running the ball out for the Fiji vs South Africa game. Um, Kanchi's Manika Rugby Union invited me to be a part of this World Cup, I guess. It's very important to show, like, I guess, women's representation in sports because everybody knows rugby is like a men's sport, I guess, and it's like very nice to see women represented in a sport like this. How does it feel winning, you know, being part of the team that won Fijiana's first Rugby World Cup game? Oh, amazing. Um, it feels like we won the World Cup. Um, we, we talked with the girls saying, like, play this girl like, a, like play this game like it's your last game. Um, and play it like, amazing coming you know, like we're going to win the World Cup. Um, that's what the girls did. They left everything on the field. They played with heart. Um, I'm really proud of that. So nice. What do you think of the Fijiana support in the in the stands? Could you hear them throughout the game? Like, how did that make you feel, the team feel? Yes, we could hear it. I could actually hear it on the sidelines. Um, you know, when the um, the speakers were calling out um, who, what supporters were here, the Fijiana supporters were definitely louder than the South Africans. How did you hear the support in the crowd again? And yes. Tell me about it. Tell me. It was so ex exciting to sing them. Uh, 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 you know, we haven't had this start. crowd for the <laughs> yeah, last few years, but it's going to come into the world. I mean, uh, we see, we see the, the crowd coming in and supporting our women's group. And how was the feeling in the team when we won? Well, we knew they were going to be excited. We were excited and, uh, and uh, so joyful that uh, we won that game. And do, we, do you have anything to say to the fans that are watching your family who are watching back home? Uh, yes, uh, I would like to dedicate this listening to my family uh, back at home, my mom and my my sisters and my nephews and nieces and my brothers um, and uh, and to the people of Fiji, please keep supporting the girls. 
And from your from where you were positioned, did you hear or feel the Fijiana support from the crowd, the constant cheering? Were you able to hear it from yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, certainly, certainly. I'm, I'm very happy that the, the Fijian community come out in numbers. It's not just Fijian, it's the South Pacific. We are representing the South Pacific. Come out in numbers, and it really boosted the girls out there. So how were you feeling in that last two minutes? South Africa got the penalty, they were ahead of us, and then the girls, Nata made a smart decision, you know, to have a quick kickoff and Cicinelli to tap it back. Like, where were you positioned? Because I know where I was positioned. <laughs> you know, in that last uh, minute, it, it happens in the Oceania when we play Samoa here. So in my mind, I was just wondering, it will happen again. It will happen again. Uh, and it, it, it does. And it does. And we score the last uh, minute again. And uh, like I said, I'm very proud of the girls, and uh, they keep on fighting till the end. Women of the match. <laughs> Tell me how that feels. Um, it's pretty surreal, um, to be honest. I think I wouldn't have been able to get uh, play of the match without my amazing team who supported me through the 80 minutes. Um, so it's definitely my name on the trophy, but the whole team um, as a collective uh, was able to enable me to get play of the match. Every time you touched the ball, the crowd erupted. Did you hear them? Did you hear, like they they were cheering every time you? Yeah, it's the ball. it's quite on the general in Russia when you have everyone cheering you on, and you know we had amazing Fijian supporters that came down to support us today. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come to support us um, for the last two games. Awesome.